Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your release strike multipad with Ableton. The strike pad actually natively maps itself to Ableton's drum rack, which should make the setup relatively easier. Let's get started. Hook up your strike multipad to your computer via USB. The first thing you want to do is open a blank Ableton Live project. Go to Live and go to your preferences. If you click right here on your link slash MIDI option, you will see your input and your output to be the Elisa Strike Multipad. Make sure that track, sync, and remote is turned on, and you're pretty much done with this section. Create a blank MIDI track. You can do that by pressing Command Shift T, or going to Create, and Insert MIDI Track. On the left hand side over here, you're going to go to your instruments and you will find a drum rack. You will find this in Ableton Live Lite, in Ableton Standard, and Ableton Suite. Click and drag the drum rack into the MIDI track. Now you will see a drum rack automatically pop up down here. If you start pressing the pads on the Strike Multipad, you will see that they will automatically be mapped to Ableton's drum rack. The outside boxes are going to be mapped to the external triggers. You can now feel free to click and drag any sample that you want to any part of the drum rack. Depending on the Ableton version that you have, you'll have different samples available to you. Right now I'm just loading on random samples just to make my point. Here I have 9 samples loaded. If you hit any of the Strike Multipad pads now, they will automatically trigger. If you have any other video ideas on how to use the Strike Multipad with Ableton, drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.